Hey Epic Sam Plays, I'm back again with a new Guild Wars video. So, today I'll be showing you guys my newly built Champion Serato. So, here are his stats. I basically went for a very tanky build on him. Um, I went for triple HP percent right side gear. So, as you can see, he's pretty tanky with 1.4k defense and 17.4k HP. Um, the downside is he's not going to be hitting as hard, but um, I looked at the defenses which I can bring him into today, and there was some Arbiter Vildreds, so I opted to go for a more tanky build. So, Champion Serato just got buffed this patch, and I feel like Smilegate really um, really did well with his buffs. Um, they basically gave him, they basically made him better at what he's supposed to do, which is getting debuffed and transferring the debuff onto the enemy. So his first skill now transfers two debuffs to two different enemies uh, when he counterattacks and when he gets a debuff, which is amazing. Um, he's gonna be really good versus units like Desi and Seaside Bellona, I feel, because they um, apply multiple debuffs. So I did invest some molars into him and maxed out his passive, and I also um, gave him the maximum amount of percentage in order to land the attack and defense break. Alright, so I also got the new artifact, Draco Plate. This artifact is so good, such a good artifact. It gives you damage and it also gives you um, damage reduction from critical attacks. Um, take note that the damage reduction from the critical attacks don't stack with Adamant Shield or um, Crimson Armin's passive. So I feel like this artifact is so good on any um, damage dealer warrior who wants to be tanky like ML Ken or Ken, the normal Ravi, uh, even Luna. The issue with... hmm... Well, I'm not sure if this replaces Sigurd Scythe for ML Ken, but it's a good alternative, I guess. It could, it could be better because it does make ML Ken tankier. And it does give him extra damage, so yeah. I also updated my Apocalypse Ravi. As you can see, she has more HP now. I used to have a crit damage necklace on her, but I swapped it for a health percent. I feel like she still does a decent amount of damage. Her, even though I lost 65% uh, crit damage, I feel like her damage is the same. Pretty weird. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into the Guild Wars. So I did have a look at some defenses which I can bring Champion Serato in today. And basically they were um, Arbiter Vildred plus Dizzy team compositions, like this one. Alright, let's bring Champion Serato into the second match. It'd be nice if we can transfer the decreased hit chance. Oh wait, Champion Serato is Im uh, immune to decreased hit chance. That's one of the new changes to him, with his passive. That's fine though. Um, so for the second match, let's bring Champion Serato and... Hmm, who should we pair him with? So he's gonna give, give himself the defense buff, so we don't need to bring Craw for the defense buff. Let's bring our own Fawn Cecilia, yeah? And I think I want to bring a damage dealer. Which damage dealer should I bring? Hmm. Let's bring Charles. I think Charles is pretty good. That's pretty good. For the first match, um, I want to bring my Apocalypse Ravi. Test out the new artifact on her. 
made Chloe pretty good. Um, actually, Ruel would be better because Ruel would um, easily tank the A card. Now I'm gonna bring uh, Maid. I want the attack buff on my Ravi. And let's bring Crawl. Crawl's gonna be really good at baiting the Violet. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into the match. Shall I have a go? Let's have a look at the turn orders. Alright, let's push back the A card. Shall we begin? It's got proof of valor. Um, let's go for the Violet. Alright, uh, we. Wow, look at that damage. Wait, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Well, we actually one shotted the Violet. Interesting. I'll take your life. Help. Prepare yourself. Uh, it's going to be okay. Now is it the time to hesitate? So I'll try and go for the A cot. <laughs> now let's go for the Montmorency, I think. Of healing. I really want to max out my Draco plate, but I want to save my bookmarks. I don't want to go for it just yet. So I'm gonna slowly max it out with the with the thing you buy from the shop, the Let's artifact go. shop, the one that um, limit breaks any art, any five star artifact, the one that you buy with 240 um 240 of the the artifact currency. Yeah, I can't remember any of the names. I wonder if we take her out with a soul burn. Really tanky. Now isn't the time to hesitate. Super maid! Chloe's coming! Don't ignore the queen! Give our team an attack buff. Okay. That must have been painful. If you're ready, let's go. Step back. Good damage. I'll show you what I can do. Hmm. It's going to be okay. Shall I have a go? March. Here I go. <laughs> the queen is here. I'll deal with this. Okay. I'll send you to the afterlife. We only need one more hit on the Montmorency to take her out with our Apocalypse Ravi. Just make sure we take her out here. Alright. So Mate Chloe is a pretty good dark bait too. But for a dark bait Soul Beaver, I prefer Ruel. Alright, this will take him out. We missed. Okay. Alright, next match.
So I've never used Champion Cerato. To be a first time. Very nice. Wow, we. Ah! Yeah, I gave him Abyssal Crown. So he can. When he counters, he attacks two units, yeah? So you have two chances of landing the. Um. The stun. Go for the defense break. Nice, we stunned two of them, okay. The yeah, mages have really strong artifacts. So I want to just take out the... The Vildred here. Very nice, he's not gonna do anything. We got the skill modifier. I'll show you how it's done. I'll show you my power. Ah, so his first skill is always a uh, Wow. So his first skill is like Arbiter Vildred slash Vildred, where it hits two enemies. I, I saw it only hit two enemies if you counter. Wow, that's really good. So you can build him as a damage dealer. Because he's gonna be hitting multiple targets. That's really, really good. Wow. Okay. Hopefully we go for the... No. Nice, we got the defense break. Okay. The healing's not bad. The healing on Champion Serato's first skill scales with his max HP. So the more HP you have, the more healing you're gonna get. This should take her out. Okay, very nice. Wow. Okay. Right, on to the next match. Let's have a look. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go for this guy. Um, so I want to bring Champion Serato into the second match. I think I want to swap out Charles because there's a uh, Lilius. Nah, I think Charles fine. Yeah. Hmm. For the first match, Crow is pretty impressive. He's gonna be um baiting Biken and the Violet because he's water and there is so I think Crow is gonna be really good there um, Mate Chloe is fine yeah let's go yeah all right speedy Viken Okay. So he's gonna go for the maid. He's got he's definitely gonna land the debuff. Yeah, my maid does not have any any um effect resistance. But she does have potion vial, so 
that kind of helps. Yeah, let's try and push back the bike. We missed. Now we should tank this because we have defense buff. Alright, let's go for the Biken first. She's squishy. Let's give ourselves the barrier here and also do a good amount of damage. Okay. By revive and attack buff. Step back, fly. So I actually want to take out the the violet here. So she's got her now isn't the time um, to hesitate. Biken's got her signature artifact on her, the torn sleeve. Let's go for the A card. Take oh okay, we did not crit. Alright, second battle. You've made it this far. No Very nice. <laughs> It would actually be nice if our champion Serato goes before the um, Fawn Cecilia. So basically we land the defense break and then Fawn Cecilia does her AoE attack. Should deal a good amount of damage. Hopefully we hit the Arbiter Vildred here with our counter attack. On Champion Serato, so we can take him out. Oh, we did not take him out. Okay. Look, launch on the Lilith. I'll show you my power. Nice, we got the stun. Are you prepared for this? Okay. I win anyway. Here I go. I'll take care of this. I'll show you how it's done. How disappointing. Don't put all your faith in me. Okay. Pretty good. It looks like the. HP and defense investment um, on the Champion Serato uh, kind of overkill. I think I made him a bit too tanky. I should change one of the HP main stat right side gear to like attack percent for more damage. Alright, third and final guy. Who should we go for? Let's go for this tower, yeah? Let's bring it down. Okay, so this match, I want to bring my champion Serato to the 
first battle. I want to keep Crow there to bait the Biken. And I also want to... Hmm... I want to bring a DPS unit. Who should I bring? Let's bring Ravi because Ravi has revived skill. So in case, and we don't have any healers on that team composition. So the revive. Actually, we don't really need the revive because this is the third match. So um, I think I think Ravi's good. Yeah, let's bring Ravi. I think Robbie's good, but Charles is better because he's got the immunity set, but... Yeah, he's got the immunity set, which means he's gonna be immune to disease S3. But I wanna bring him to the second battle. Yeah, I wanna bring my Charles to the second battle. I think Fawn Cecilia is not great in the second battle. I want to bring something else. Aha, uh -huh, I know exactly what to bring. It's the second battle. Bring my Tamarin, Etheria, and Lilibet. Anyways, let me check my Lilibet skills. Right, okay. I want to give her. I want to give her the portrait for this battle. Look at the um, graphic glitch there. <laughs> okay. Alright, um, is my little bit properly geared? Let me have a quick look. Yeah, I think she is. I think so. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just one more quick look at the boots. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, okay. Hmm. Alright, looks pretty good. Um. Alright, let's go. Got this gun off, that's pretty nice. My past regrets and hesitation. I'll sever everything with Wow, that's a crazy amount of damage onto the crow. Um Go for the bike in here. Don't waste my time. I'll do everything I can. Nice. Okay. Nice. We got the triple defense break. Four oh, actually survived that. Okay. With all those counters. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely need to build him more, uh, more damage. My champion Serato. That is crazy. Look at all the bleeds. I'll show you my power. Double stun. Wow, this unit is stellar. Yeah, really. Good. Yeah, I'll definitely try out all the builds on him. Give him more damage while maintaining the tankiness. I think that'll be good. Alright, let's bring back the crawl. Um, I think we should take out the Dizzy here. I think we can take her out. 
We did not, okay. Final battle. The sword of flowers. So we only need defense break or target. We got both. All right, it's over. Um, she is on um, proof of valor, but with those two um Z buffs on her, there's no way she survives. Yeah, very nice. All right. Okay, the problem here is Crow is gonna take out my Tamarin, and then the Ruel is gonna um heal him up. So let's go for the Ruel. I think my Lilibet should be should be strong enough to carry this. Right, let's see what the Ruel. Hmm, yeah, he, she's gonna max heal the crow. Very tanky. Hmm. You disgusting punks. I'll get rid of you all. Get ready. Nice, we got the Okay, um Oh, the white flower. On my word. Let's save our oh let's try and strip the defense buff. On the uh, Ruel. Very nice, alright. Do I need Soul Burn? Um, um, do I need Soul Burn? Let's play safe. Okay. I'll give you a rest. Don't worry, I'll make it nice and you will be Victory is right in front of us. Hmm, I think Lilibet can solo. Yeah, we can we can solo. Alright. So this is Crow's second turn. So we can apply um skill nullifier right before Crow uses his ultimate, but I don't think he has that long to live. Yeah. Well provoke, okay. Oh come on. Are you see? Oh, are you serious? Miss, doesn't matter. Wow. Are you serious? Okay. That was clutch, though. All right. Yeah, that's that's it for today. Um. So for some reason, my my fortress isn't getting attacked. Um, I've had some decent success with my defense recently. Like, um, the first team's pretty basic triple revive team. The second defense is a pretty, um, pretty.
pretty popular defense right now. But in my opinion, it's it, it's really popular to the point where players know what to do in order to beat it. So yeah, hmm. haven't been working on my Guild Wars defense team much recently. Alright, that's it for today, guys. So I'll sh recap my champion Serato. So here he is. So I want to give him more damage. I think. I'm gonna trade in one of the, like this ring, I think I could uh, change this ring into one that gives a attack percent main stat with some crit and crit damage substat. The boots too, the boots is really, um, it's more like a tanky bruiser boot, hmm, yeah I could change one of my, um, right side gear. I could also change one of my left side gears too in order to make him more of a damage dealer. But yeah, I think this build is pretty decent. Well, it works because uh, he's got to be really tanky, which means he's, he's going to survive a long time in order to um, transfer back the debuff which uh, he's afflicted by. So overall, I think this unit is definitely uh, a great unit to build. Can't really go wrong with him. Really great buffs he got. So, yeah, great unit. Looking forward to experimenting with him uh, in the Guild Wars to come. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give my video a like and subscribe. And until next time, Sodi signing out.